Hey guys, it's Yeti Triple Nine here back again for another video. And today I'm going to show you guys and explaining what is this new game called Rush Wars. So basically, um, in this video, I'm going to do two, three things. First off, I'm going to explain what Rush Wars is, give a very summarized version of what you do inside the game. Second of all, um, I'm going to be giving my brief um, and first impressions of the game. And third, at the end, I'm gonna do a very fun challenge that, like, yeah, it's it's gonna be really fun. <laughs> and yeah, I hope you guys stick around till the end to see what that challenge is. So first off, Rush Wars is this game uh, made by Supercell. It got released this past Monday. So and it's only available in Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and now Finland, if I'm correct. So basically, I'm just gonna hop into an attack here. So basically, what you do is um, you get your troops. You unlock troops by opening boxes, and then you get your troops. So I'm just gonna go three uh, shields, three shields, and then three throwers. I don't know what they're really called. Pitchers. Okay, three pitchers, and then you also have spells, which is similar to Clash of Clans or Clash Royale or Boom Beach or any one of those games. I'm gonna put a rage spell in there, and I'm gonna attack. If when you attack, you have you use five gold to attack, and it's like Clash of Clans. Every time you, if you want to see a different base, you have to use gold. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here now, I don't. Again, I'm not like a pro player at this game, but I can see that in the bottom right here, um, where there's the mo motor, mo motor, uh, <laughs> I don't know, I'm really bad at saying these names. And this is heavily defended, so I'm gonna go up here with my shields in front because they have more HP, so they're gonna tank the damage while my pitchers, they do damage from the back. So yeah, let's, let's go and see if we can get at least one star by getting this top one here and then there's this person defending it okay i'm just gonna put a rage spell there so we can take care of that quickly because we we probably can't do more damage okay so i'm just gonna let them play out like just do their thing here oh oh if, if that oh if if that um bazooka guy didn't get activated um, we would have had two stars, but one star is okay. Again, I'm not a pro player, so I, I don't know what what the best um, comp is for this. So yeah, you just attack other people's gold mines, and also as as the same in Clash of Clans and Boom Beach, you you can get attacked. So here is your gold mine. So you can like set up your defenses. You can have uh, this. It's kind of like a machine gun. Then there's a motor. Uh, I, again, I am horrible at saying that. There's you can put like any one of the troops that you have unlocked, and yeah. Then there's there are these the decos. If if someone hits them with like a meteor, which would be like the equivalent in like uh, I don't know, but if someone hits them with like this meteor sort of thing, then they'll explode and damaging your troops defending. And yeah, you have to defend your base. And every 24 hours, this this map gets changed, and you have to like reorganize your defense all over again. So that's different from Clash of Clans and Boom Beach. And yeah, and then you can upgrade your troops here in the lab by getting like these cards. And then you can upgrade your spells. Then there's commanders, which help your troops. Then there's the defenses. You can also upgrade those. And yeah, then there's teams, which they're not called clans or bands or anything like that, they're just called teams. And yeah, you join your team, you can help um, build defense uh, by donating coins. And then there's also team domination, where it's practically your team goes against other team, another team. And yeah, it's kind of like clan wars in Clash of Clans and Clash Royale. I don't know if there is one in Boom Beach, I'm not sure. So yeah, that's a brief overview of the game. And then of course you have like your shop and like your leaderboard, battle log, settings and so on. And yeah, that's basically it. And you also get two box, you have, you get a box every three hours. And yeah, that, that's a brief overview of, of Rush Wars. I don't want to go into in depth. Yeah, and then my first impressions of this game. 
I, I, as you heard me reference many times while explaining this game, it's similar to, it's like Doom Beach, um, Clash of Clans and Clash Royale kind of like put into one game, but different, like he has parts that are unique. So what I really liked about this game is first off like the design, the design I thought was really cool. Um, especially for like this, is, I'm recording this on day two beta launch. So the design and like aesthetics of this game is really good, especially for just day two of beta launch. But I think there's a lot to be improved on this game. Like for, for me, um, th this is my own personal preference, but I don't really like games where you just like place troops and just like let them fight. That's why I, I, I play Brawl Stars because you control your character and it's there's more skill involved, I think, if you control your own character. But I think what they can do, like me, it, it just gets repetitive. Like, I was playing, like, day one, like, I was playing for, like, an hour or so. It just got repetitive, just attacking bases over and over again. So, like, if they added maybe, um quests or like maybe you have to use a certain number of like cards like s similar to clash royale like the, these games are all very similar or just i don't know there's a lot to be improved on this game uh, i don't really know right now i don't really have a lot of ideas but yeah but for my overall impressions for day two beta launch it's a pretty good game but I think there's a lot to be improved on. So now let's get right into the challenge. I know you guys have been waiting for this. So the ch what the challenge is, I'm going to be attacking with just one troop. And then I'm going to put a rage spell. And I'm just going to see if I can do well with just one troop. Like just one troop kind. So this is like the, this would be like your, your, your Shelly or your barbarians. Like the first troop that you get. This is what you get. So yeah, um... I don't know where to go PS, both this pitcher and this bazooka guy can both take out these um, submachine gun guys really easily, so I don't really know what to do. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with uh, three of these machine gun guys. I'm gonna start them off and then I'm gonna put three more. And yeah, um, let, let's see if we can, we can take out one, we can take out the pitcher. Okay, we're, this is going pretty well right now. Okay, going pretty well, pretty well. Okay, we can take out this third one, and we're going to be able to take out, like, the town hall sort of thing, like the headquarters, and we're going to get that three-star victory. Let's go. So, right now, okay, we, we just defended someone. So, right now, we have seven troops. So, let's get um, six of these, plus a rage spell. Yeah, like the rage spell is like one of my favorite spells in this game. It's like really fun to watch them rage. So, what I think I'm gonna do is, since this laser guy is on the bottom, I'm gonna go for the top. And again, I'm gonna do similar to what I did last time. I'm gonna put three there, and then I'm gonna put three more coming through here. Hopefully, they don't go down. Okay, only one went down. Okay, now I'm gonna have to rage that so they can um, attack. Okay, so I don't think we're gonna get three stars on this, but we're doing. If the thing is, if we can take out the pitcher, if we can take out the pitcher, we could win this. Oh, we took out the pitcher with one guy. Let's see if we can get three stars. It might run out of time, but let, let's see if we can get three stars on this. He's going really slowly, <laughs> just one shot at a time. <laughs> yeah, so this is like, this is one of the fun parts about this game. You can just like survive with one person and end up destroying their entire like base. And yeah, now he's going over to uh, like command center, town hall. I don't know what you want to call it. And yeah, he's just firing away. And we're gonna get three stars. I did not expect to get three stars. I thought uh, we would we would only get two. No, sorry. We, I thought we would only get one. But we ended up getting three stars. I know this video might be getting a bit long, but th this this challenge is like re really fun. 
And yeah, we got that three-star victory, and we got a box. Oh, this is one thing I forgot to explain. Um, you, every time you win, like, if I get three stars, then I get, like, three stars on this box thing. If I get five stars in total, and I have keys, um, ready, then I can open it. But if I don't have keys, then I have to wait for them, for keys to, like, come. Yeah, the next key is in 45 minutes. So, yeah, you just wait for keys. And now, let's hop into our... Th third game of this challenge and let's put a rage spell there and yeah let's see how we can do with these bazooka guys one thing about these bazooka guys is that you usually want to put them in the back because they have a really slow reload speed okay i just want to see uh, i can't see the okay, i could see the range for a second um i think i'm just gonna go down here i want to do the same thing i did before because it's working now I'm gonna put now I'm gonna put three there and then I'm I'm probably gonna have to use rage so I'm just gonna use rage there. Okay, we took out that and we took out the the other bazooka guy. Let's see if we can take out. Yeah, we're gonna be able to take out the the, the second one. So we got two stars, but then we got taken out by the mo motar uh, mortar mortar. Yeah, I think it's mortar. And yeah, we got two stars. This, this challenge went pretty well. Now we're gonna go with these, which these um, characters just like fly around. So anything that's only ground cannot get them. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do here is um, I'm thinking I'm gonna go up top. It's gonna go up top, and then see if I can if I can take out this uh, the green uh, thing. No, I won't be able to take it out. That was a really bad one. But then again, like these um, flying like characters aren't. I I didn't find them to be very good. Now let's go all pictures, and pictures are one of like my favorite characters inside this game. They're incredibly good. I don't know if they'll get a nerf or something. And, and then we're reversing all bazookas. All bazookas. Okay. Okay. Let's let's put them all through the middle. Actually, no. I'm going to put um, one, two on each of these. Okay. Now I'm going to start. Let's see how this works. I have my rage spell ready. Okay. Now I'm just going to put a rage spell there. Yeah, we got one star. Um, but we didn't have enough firepower to take out the two ones that remained. And now we got a box again. Where we got some coins, some cards, all good stuff. Now we have all tanks. So we can only get three tanks. But we have a rage spell. Oh yeah, and I have, I'm out of keys, but I'm going to attack anyways. And another thing that I liked about this game is how quick the matchmaking is. Like, I, I really like that about the game. Okay, so, um, this tank. I can't see its range, but I'm just gonna put three tanks up here. Hopefully they'll go, um, they'll go up, not down. Because I want them to get, like, the command base thing. Because it's the least defended out of all of these. So now I have my rage spell ready. I'm just gonna put it there so they can quickly take care of this other tank. The thing is, tanks they have like so much HP. Like seriously, they have so much HP. And we're gonna quit. Oh no! Why did they go down? Why did they go down? Okay. Yeah, we're they're not gonna be able to get any stars on this because they went down. If they had gone up, if they had gone up. They would have been able to take out the command, um, the command post thing. I, I don't know. I don't really know what to call it. So we have one more troop left, which is these shotgun guys. And yeah, let's see how we can do. Yeah, and again, sorry if this video is getting long, but this challenge is a lot of fun. Um, I don't know where I should go. If I can take out these two bazooka things, then I should be able to take out this motor, mo motor, um, mo I don't know how to say it, but yeah, I'm going to put three there 
And then I'm gonna put three back here. If you can take out these bazooka guys. No, 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 no. Why are they going up? I wish like they, you had a spell that could like direct them to go like where you wanted them to go. Because that's I think that's so annoying in this game. Like your your troops don't go where you want them to go. So yeah, that was that was a challenge. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, if you guys want to try out this game, I suggest trying it out. You might like it, you might not, but I suggest trying it out. Yeah, if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you guys don't miss any other videos like this. And yeah, if you guys like this video, don't forget to hit, hit the like button and comment down below and share. Yeah, all those good things. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.